Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm your host, Valerie Ortiz. Up next, we catch up with Judy Reyes, co-star of the highly rated Lifetime series, Devious Maids. Now, Judy, who is a veteran of various memorable roles on hit shows like Scrubs, is not just an actress because these days she is also putting her energy and her status to work as a content creator. Judy is the tour de force behind a sweet and inspiring cartoon series about a little girl and her soccer dreams called La Gola. And she aims to make this animated project one that opens the doors for more diversity when it comes to content for kids. Judy Reyes is one of television's most recognizable Latinas. Her role on the Lifetime series, Devious Maids, has not only cemented her as a go-to character actress, it's given her a new perspective on the kind of roles that go to Hispanic actresses. Is it okay that I crashed here last night? Of course, I just wish you'd call me first. Two cups of coffee, huh? Yeah, the doctor thinks I need more caffeine in my diet. <laughs> Come on. I know you had company. I feel really fortunate to be playing a character that has had a really interesting evolution. When I read her, she was really funny. She reminded me so much of my mom. She scared the crap out of me because she felt really, really real. And it was nerve wracking in terms of the knee jerk response that only I got, but like people who even heard about the show got. I was God, a show about maids and all that stuff. But she's a mom who is a housekeeper, working this real job for like rich people. And um, my mom was a housekeeper often in, in her life because, you know, it's a working class the immigrants for whom English is a second to non language, um, working to support their kid and trying to protect uh, slash overprotect them in a world or in an environment that's secondary, almost completely unfamiliar to them. If anyone should ask where I've gone, anyone at all, I'll be back soon. Mija! Dad? Yeah, exciting news. Looks like your mom and I are back together. That's that telenovela edge that people eat up, that even the men eat up, by the way. You know, um, we get a lot of the men coming to us and say, yo, I watched your show with my wife. My wife loves, you know, you know she's like, watch it with me. And yo, it's pretty good. I'm like, uh-huh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gola. And with the rise in her status as a Hollywood player, comes the kind of power and influence Judy needed to launch an animated series close to her heart. La Golda is an animation, it's about an eight-year-old girl who's been bounced around from orphanage to orphanage. And she's got this amazing outlook on life. And through her love and her passion for soccer or football, she recruits like these eight other international orphans and they all rise above their current circumstances and devote themselves to making the world a better place for kids. We are producing it in English and Spanish and we're looking to appeal to a multicultural audience through the beautiful sport, through the biggest sport in the entire world. They broke the rules and now must face the consequences. No, she's scared because we're going to win this match. We're trying to use it as a tool to speak through and to kids that it doesn't matter what you do, where you come from, um, but you can help. I mean, I have no idea. I, I, I am kind of living the dream, you know what I mean? When I was a little girl, my parents immigrated here, working their behinds off to give me exactly um, what I have today, you know? I know that we were the inspiration to do all of that, you know, and just like my child is the inspiration to continue, at some, at some point, you know, you can't just have everything, you have to give something back. And using everything around you, including where you're from, as some kind of inspiration, so it's exciting. We'll be in a mess of trouble. Only if we get caught. 